Welcome back to the channel everyone, the Santa Maria here in Ailes. I decided that for Mother's Day related content, I wanted to put a different spin on the recommendations for Mother's Day lists that we normally would do and we see here on YouTube, especially when we talk about lists and whatnot, everybody's doing Mother's Day gifts recommendations because hello, Mother's Day is on May 8th for everyone in the US. But I decided to do this a little bit different and concerning fragrances, because yes, this is a fragrance related video elves. I decided to share with you all the fragrances that my mother tends to gravitate towards every time she comes over here and plays in my kit. And what I mean by that is these are the fragrances my mom loves the most out of my collection. She loves them so much that some of them I've actually purchased for her so she could stay out of mine. So therefore these are certified mom approved yes <laughs> this isn't an arbitrary list of fragrances i think are just nice for mothers no these are the fragrances my mom absolutely loves and plays in every single time she comes over to visit me which she did visit me very recently so yeah this list is fresh <laughs> so yes that's what we're going to be doing today i have it's six fragrances that she always gravitates towards so yeah we're going to talk about those six but before we do that elves you know what we must do first lipstick of the day everyone this look just kind of happened and i'm digging it and the lip of the day is from mac and it is the color diva very very pretty lipstick very flattering on a lot of skin tones so yeah there's always that so i will say diva is a good color for those that are looking for lipstick options or makeup options for their mothers again mac diva lipstick of the day everything will be in the description box as always so you don't have to hunt for it next up we have fragrance of the day everyone fragrance of the day this is a modern goodie this is one i've gotten a lot of love out of you will be able to tell by the dent and this is none other than from the house of chanel this is coco mademoiselle the older parfum intense version and as you can see yeah i have a big dent and this is the 100 ml size bottle yes chanel coco mademoiselle the intense version if you want to switch it up so let's get into this list of fragrances that my mom loves out of my collection <laughs> the first fragrance we're going to talk about i'm quite starting to believe that anybody loves this fragrance because it's getting a lot of traction and i'm still getting comments on the dedicated review to this scent <laughs> to this day and i did this review months ago and this is the fragrance mont blanc signature yes my mom absolutely loves this scent she always plays in this and it's so obvious when she plays in it because literally I can smell it in the air when she's been in my room unsupervised. <laughs> so with Mont Blanc Signature, and what I like about this one is, this one you can actually get at a good price or on sale. So this one you don't have to pay the full strength for. I have seen discounted prices for it. But alas, the notes are clementine, orchards, vanilla, magnolia, white musk, and amber. And I must say, my mom says she likes this scent because she said it just smells, and I agree with her on this, she said it smells fluffy and clean. She said you just smell like clouds. And I do agree, this is a cloud essentially in a fragrance bottle. And yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. Again, Mont Blanc signature. The next fragrance that my mom loves to play in whenever she comes over is from the house of Chloe. And this is Chloe Nomad Absolute. Yes, this is the Absolute version. The notes in Chloe Nomad Absolute, and this is an older parfum, by the way, we have notes of Divana, Cherry Plum, and Oak Moss, which I must say it is that Cherry Plum note for me. And with her, she loves the Oak Moss and earthiness of this scent. She says it's very free spirit, flower child, whatnot. My mom is very... She can be very earthy sometimes. She likes to play outside in the garden and be with her Birkenstocks and all that. So this fragrance, Chloe Nomad Absolute, speaks to that side of her. And yeah, it's kind of woodsy, but still has that fruity note again, that cherry plum. So this is great for my free spirited moms out there. Again, Chloe Nomad Absolute. <laughs> the next fragrance, you all, I had to get her a bottle immediately for her birthday because I was not finna fight over this bottle with her. Yeah. And the fragrance I am talking about is from the house of Chanel. I mean, because hello, mothers love Chanel just in general. And the Chanel I'm talking about is, no, it's not number five. We are talking about Chanel Coco Noir. She digs this scent so much again that's why i had to get her own bottle the notes for coco noir are grapefruits bergamots 
rose jasmine patchouli and sandalwood which i will say there's nothing like the patchouli in chanel it's a signature type of patchouli i promise it does not smell like anything else but yeah this has a dark sexy vibe and she describes it as an elegant ball gown that's what she loves it for mm. she said oh this is just so dressed up so nice i like this i feel fancy when i wear this so again, mom loves this Coco Noir by Chanel and I love it too, I must say. Now this next one is for the moms that are headed to vacation because this was a summer staple my mom was obsessed with last summer and she still smells it and still digs it even though it's technically out of season right now, but we're almost there. And the next thing I'm talking about is from the house of Tom Ford. Yes, we love us some Tom. And this is Soleil Blanc yes aka the iconic summer scent when you feeling real bougie so the notes for tom ford soleil blanc are coco de mer cardamom ylang ylang and she says she said this is literally every all whiter for your party this is linen this is her and my dad going out and they on somebody's rooftop because yes my parents still have date night and go out i promise they go out more than i do <laughs> But yes, she loves this scent so much. She's asked to borrow it, to wear it when she's wearing her sundress. And again, her and dad are out on the town. So, oh, this scent is everything. I can't wait to pull it out. I have it put away right now. See, my, see how she found it when she came over? I don't even have it up on the dresser right now. But mom found Tom Ford Sole Blanc though. <laughs> That's how I know she really likes it. So hopefully, you never know, we'll see. She might end up with the bottle soon. Hmm. We'll see what happens. This next scent, <laughs> oh, this is a certified crowd pleaser. Anybody can like this, whether you're a mom or not, but my mom knows this scent. Whenever she smells it, whenever I wear it, whenever she smells it on others, she likes it, she digs it. It's that type of scent. And this is none other than from the house of Mason Francis Kirk Jean. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540, the EDP, the original version. Yes, mom loves this scent. She literally comes over and plays in this. And she says, oh, I know that scent anywhere. Even in the dark, she said, oh, I know Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> the notes for Baccarat Rouge are jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, and ambergris. And as she likes to say, Mm. She said, this smells like money and I know it when I smell it. <laughs> and to be fair, this one is a little bit more pricey as we know. Uh, yeah, this one has caused quite a stir in the fragrance community. It's a little bit more pricey, but it's so worth it because it's so iconic and you know it when you smell it. And yes, this is another one that mom has asked to borrow to wear on date night. And she comes back and told me, oh, we got so many compliments. Everybody was like, oh, you smell so good. My dad was like, yeah, you really do smell good. And normally he doesn't really care. <laughs> He's a guy, I mean. <laughs> but he was like, no, she smells really good wearing this. So yeah, Baccarat Rouge 540, yes. It also slays on the moms, absolutely. The last fragrance that we're gonna talk about, ah, this one was so funny when I let my mom smell this one because this one was a gift from the head elf so my mom was around for this was during the holidays and she was able to smell this one and she's like oh I love this she's like oh this is everything and I'm talking about none other than from Parfums de Marley Delina the original honey the one and only the icon Delina Delina's notes are bergamot nutmeg rhubarb lychee turkish rose vetiver incense cedarwood vanilla cashmerean musk and i let her smell this because she didn't understand why i was so excited about it she was like oh what a bottle's cute i mean it's pink she's like oh, i like that i said no you gotta smell it and understand why i had to have this scent and because she had never heard of it my mom isn't in the fragrance community she isn't on social media so she don't know anything that's hyped up and whatnot so she just goes by what she smells and keeps it moving. <laughs> mm. Well, she smelled this though. She said, oh, she said, no, this is springtime elegance. She said, Delina, she said, you need to wear this to a wedding. She said, I want to wear this to a wedding. She said, actually, I probably will be borrowing that because she has some events, like some teas and things to go to with the girls with a sorority. 
all of that. She has her own social calendar. I can't keep up. But yes, mom is digging Parfums de Marley Delina and she's like, oh yes, I am digging that. In fact, I think she's already reserved to wear this scent for Mother's Day. I have to confirm because she might change her mind when she get here because again, as you see, we have six fragrances that she's digging. But she's probably gonna end up wearing Delina. I just know her. <laughs> So again, Parfums de Marley Delina is the last one that we're going to talk about that mommy is digging. So all right, Els, that wraps up this list that is complimentary of from my mom that these are the scents in my collection that she's currently loving and always plays in. And I catch her red handed every time. So yeah, <laughs> these are definitely mom approved scents. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and say happy Mother's Day early to all of my mothers. I know I have a lot of them that are elves and I do appreciate that. I myself am not a mother, but I respect and I love my own mother and I respect and love all the things that my lovely mother elves do so let me know what you think um what fragrances do you all think are good scents for your mom or what's the scents that your mom actually likes or plays in your collection <laughs> let me know because i know you all have some stashes too i mean hello that's why we're all here together on this channel because we like candles and perfume so let me know what fragrances your moms are digging or what you think is going to be the it fragrance for Mother's Day. Drop it in the comments below. As always, every fragrance I've mentioned and talked about will be in the description box. So if you're interested in those for yourself, you can definitely click and check them out and do your research for yourself. All right, elves, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all.